G'day and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily remove noise from your wildlife images. I'll explain what noise is, what causes noise, and what you can do to prevent it in the field. But with any image you take, it'll have a certain amount of noise. So I'll show you how to use Lightroom's built-in noise reduction feature and also a piece of software called Topaz Denoise. This is specifically made to reduce noise in your images. I'll compare the two and hopefully you'll be able to make a decision whether it's worth buying this extra piece of software. If you want to jump forward to Lightroom or Topaz, check the description below. I'll have timestamps. What causes noise and what is it? Well, noise is the grain that you see in an image. This noise is caused by a number of factors. The main one that everyone's aware of is probably your ISO setting. So on your camera, you'll have your shutter speed, ISO setting and your aperture. These all control your exposure. So that ISO setting, as that ISO number gets higher, so they generally start at around 100 or 50 on a Nikon, as that number increases, the amount of noise in the images also increases. Think of it as, say, an image quality adjustment. So as that ISO number climbs, so say ISO 800 or 1600, your image quality will generally reduce. So by increasing the ISO, your image quality reduces. And why is this an issue for wildlife photographers? Well, we want high shutter speeds. And often the only way we can get high shutter speeds is by increasing our ISO. So it's a bit of a balance and a bit of a trade-off. We often want higher shutter speeds so that we don't get any motion blur on our images. But not all cameras are made equally. Noise in one camera will often be different to noise in another camera. So older cameras, like the old 7D or crop sensors, they didn't handle noise very well at all. But fortunately, with our new full frame cameras and the latest cameras, they handle noise a lot better, meaning that with the same amount of light, they have a lot less noise. And basically, that's all ISO is doing. By increasing that ISO number, the sensor needs less light to create the image, allowing you those shutter speeds. So we often talk about this ISO setting, but there's a couple of other key factors to help reduce the amount of noise that you get in the field. The first one, and probably the most important, is your exposure. If you underexpose your image, so if it's too dark, you get more noise. The alternative to that is if you expose to the right, or you try and get your histogram as far to the right without blowing your highlights, you will have the least amount of noise for the ISO setting that you have. So we're always trying to expose to the right, will reduce the amount of noise. I've got a great example here of a white-faced heron, which allowed me to get pretty close. I took a couple of photos of this bird changing my settings on purpose. So one of them is at ISO 400 and the second one is ISO 5000. Now I've exposed the ISO 5000 quite a way to the right and you can see them when I compare the two, they look very similar even though the ISO setting is vastly different. Mind you, we did have excellent light on this morning so that helped big time. But as you can see, by exposing to the right, you can get really good usable images at high ISOs. The other factor, which you often may not realize, is the color of the background, of how dark or light your background is. If your background is dark, it will show more noise. If the background's light, it will show less noise. I've got a great example here. I just shot this the other day. In this image, the top half of the image was a bank, so a green grassy bank. The bottom half was dirt or light dirt. And these, this is taken from the same image. You can see it, the same setting, same ISO setting. I think it was ISO 800. You can see on an old crop sensor body, you can see the top has um, got quite a bit of noise and then the bottom of the light area, a lot less noise. So that can also make a big difference. If you're struggling with your noise, be aware of what your background is. Third thing, how much you crop your images. If you crop your images a lot, you'll see a lot more noise just by the fact that you're zooming in on the image. So we always try to crop as little as possible. That will show less noise. Uh, the, also, the, uh, how much light you have and to be aware of your ISO setting. As your light improves, reduce your ISO setting. That will obviously, obviously reduce your noise. Good light, you're gonna have less noise. Poor light, overcast conditions, high ISOs results in really poor noise. So to quickly summarize, expose to the right. Don't crop too much. Just be aware of what your settings are and uh, be aware of your backgrounds as well. Okay, so let's jump into Lightroom and have a look. I'm gonna start off with this image of an Eastern Yellow Robin. 
just to show you how much noise there can be in images, and this is probably a, a worst case scenario or a very tough case for any noise reduction software to deal with. So I've got this image here. As you can see, it's underexposed by a histogram, probably by almost a stop. And uh, you can see the settings here, um, ISO 1600 on that old 7D is probably pushing it. And we'll show you just what I mean by noise. So I'll adjust the exposure to get it to the right, to get it about right. And so we've gone almost to stop. And if I go into 100%, you can see all this noise in the background. And because the background's dark, as I mentioned before, that uh, makes it even worse. And it's pretty bad the uh, noise in this image. Um, I do like the image. I mean, you know, it's a pretty bird and the pose is good and sort of nice location. So it's probably worth trying to save this image. So I'll show you how you could traditionally do it in Lightroom. So in Lightroom, if you scroll down um, to the right hand side under sharpening, so sharpening will introduce noise as well. So if I was to drag that all the way to the left, you would get less noise as you can see, but then we lose the sharpening. So more sharpening, way more noise. So I think the default is around 40 in um, Lightroom. So I'll leave it about 30. So there's this here, it says noise reduction and it says luminance. If I drag this all the way to the right, you'll see what happens on the screen. It has applied noise reduction, but it's applied it to the bird as well. And you can see just how bad it is. It's actually fairly awful on the actual um, background as well. It just looks all blocky and there's some weird stuff going on in the background. I've done a fairly poor job at trying to reduce the noise, but that's obviously at 100%. So what I want to do is try and get the background looking as good as I can with the slider. So um, dragging it back, we'll keep looking at the... Uh, at the background, that's looking a little bit better. There's still a bit of noise, but we're not getting too much weird stuff happening. Come up to here, to the adjustment brush tool. We hit this adjustment brush tool. We hit this noise effect from the drop down noise, and I reduce the noise by 100. What this means is I want to remove all the noise reduction that we just applied so off the bird. So we don't want any noise reduction on the bird. So if I put that down to 100, and I'll show you this effect and you'll see it pretty quickly. So I've got my brush, I can change the size of my brush. I just use the middle mouse wheel. So I can click onto here. And as I hold down the left mouse button and I put this brush tool on, can you see how it's removing all of that noise reduction that we just applied in the last step? So I can go around the bird and remove the noise reduction so that it's only on the background and it's a bit of a time consuming process because you want to try and get it if you want to know what you have and what you haven't uh, applied to you can put O on the keyboard and you'll quickly see what you have and you haven't um, painted so I wouldn't have to go around this entire bird I'll just quickly do that So as you can see, it's a little bit of a time consuming process, but this is how you would traditionally remove um, just the noise from the background and not the bird. So, and if you want to make, say you've actually gone over too much, so you can see how we've gone too much here, we've re revealed some of the background, you can hold the Alt key and it changes it to a minus and we can get rid of the um, noise that we had painted on there. It can get a bit tricky when you're trying to do these, these pieces here because you, you'll often get a bit of a separation between the, the noise reduction and the not noise. See what, you can, see what I mean? You can see this noise reduction in the background and it doesn't look all that pleasant. It can be a bit fiddly, but it can be done. With this adjustment brush, we can show you, this is at minus 100, so if I drag this back all the way to the right, that's 100% noise, how we had it, and then none. So, so if I scroll out, we've actually, it's actually done a pretty good job. 
the difficulty with the just using Lightroom is it's very difficult to get the noise out of the bird itself without introducing some weird behavior. So generally I just ha I've never ever done noise reduction to the bird itself. So you can still see all the noise that's in the eye and in the plumage and in the, in the bill. Very difficult to make it so that it looks good and still has detail. The background still isn't um, amazing. So we've still got some issues going on in the background. But that's the image, that's how you would do noise reduction in Lightroom. So we just used Lightroom, and now I'm gonna show you Topaz Denoise and show you how quickly it can be done with this software. So I've got another version of the image so we can see all the noise that is apparent. So I just, all I need to do is I've installed Topaz Denoise, I right click and I go edit in and Topaz Denoise, edit a copy and it'll bring up the software. Okay, so this is the software, it's brought it up it's, and you can see straight away that it's done a really good job at removing the background. We can uh, zoom in to 200% here to have a look um, to see what it's done and we can use the split tool to drag to the left and to the right. It's done a fairly good job um, and you can see that it has removed some noise from the actual bird without um, you know, losing too much detail in the bird. So yeah, it's done a really good job on its own just reducing that noise. So you've got three sliders, you've got to remove noise, enhance sharpness and recover details. If we push this all the way to the right, you know, it applies maximum noise and we lose the detail in the bird, um, which is not what we want. Um, so we need to drag that to the left. And this recover details, if you want more details in the bird, you can drag that to the right. Often I'll go into 200% and just ultimately I'm wanting to keep details in the bird. So I'm wanting to keep as many details as I can in the bird while still putting noise reduction in the background. So that's looking pretty good. So we're not losing too much. So I'll apply that. So all I've done is opened up Topaz Denoise adjusted it, hit, a, hit apply, and then it brings it back up in Lightroom. Um, pretty much all done. Uh, it's done a pretty real, a, a good job of, um, you know, applying noise. I haven't lost that much detail. It's one click, I don't have to do any masking at all. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. For just Lightroom, there is more you could do in Photoshop, but it's done a pretty incredible job um, straight off the bat. That this is before and after. Um, so obviously this is with the, all the noise and this is the uh, afterwards. You can see it's done an excellent job removing the noise. Um, it's pretty incredible really. I'm not sure how it does it, but you can just see the difference between the two images. The noise is pretty much gone. Now if I show you the Lightroom version. Okay, so this left one is Topaz Denoise and the right one is what I did in Lightroom. It's, um, you know, at a, for the web, you could possibly say it's hard to tell a difference. Um, you can still see a bit of noise in the background on this right one. Uh, the topaz, it just looks a lot smoother. But as soon as we go into uh, 100%, it's pretty obvious to me which is the better, what, better image. Um, the Topaz one just looks smoother. There's definitely less noise in the background. Um, the less noise in the bird, but it's still got detail. You can see around the eye. Um, so really, there's no comparison between the two, to be honest. Admittedly, you can get away with just the Lightroom. So if you don't want to spend any additional money, that's how you would do it in Lightroom. And uh, you know, it's a few extra steps, but you know, you'll save yourself a little bit of money. But if you want a one-step solution or a one-click solution, then Topaz Denoise is definitely the way to go. Um, I have purchased it with my own money, and, uh, you know, that's what I think of it. Okay, let's have a look how Topaz and Lightroom handle this beautiful pink robin. 
This was shot in the rainforest, so a fairly dark green background at ISO 3200. So there is a little bit of noise um, in that background. So let's see how this software handles that. So we'll do the uh, quick denoise version first. Let's have a look at what it's done. I'll put on the split and see if we've got... It's done a pretty good job on its own. It's almost given us more detail. Uh, I know there's a bit of steel eye in the bird and we can fix that. But I'm uh, fairly happy with how that's looking. I'll just see what happens if we recover details a bit. See if that's any better. It is looking like more details in the bird. Which is, I'm always trying to get as many details as I can in the bird. So, so having a look, it's done a good job. So it's pretty amazing when you do the slider, it does a really good job of removing the noise from the background, but it doesn't alter the bird too much. You know, if anything, it's sort of added some sort of sharpening to it. So I'll hit OK. OK, so it's done its thing and, um, you know, it's, it's very impressive. What's really impressive is how it works on these fine details. These can be a nightmare to mask if you do it in Photoshop or in Lightroom where you're trying to keep the details in the perches and, and the moss but get rid of the noise from the background. So it saves you a ton of time that you would have to do all this manually and it would be fairly time intensive and I'll quickly show you that in Lightroom but it's done an amazing job that I'm extremely happy with and you know I would ultimately uh, use this uh, image. Okay, so we'll have a look at before and after. So here's the before and after. As we can see on the right, this is with the noise and this is after the noise has been removed. Um, so it's done an excellent job. And as mentioned, on these tricky areas, it's done a pretty good job removing the noise, um, but keeping detail. Um, so yeah, I can't complain. You know, even this is quite tricky. Um, so it's done an excellent job. Okay, let's have a go with Lightroom and see how that handles it. Okay, so with, with Lightroom's own noise reduction, I'll come down to uh, noise reduction, and if we start moving this to the right, we can see we're starting to get a, sorry, the computer's a little bit slow. Um, so we want to move it till we're happy with the amount of noise. So that's definitely got rid of a bit of noise. So, um, you know, sort of happy with that. Okay, so remove the noise from the background. The so next step is to remove any noise reduction from the bird itself. So I need to create an uh, adjustment brush. Um, I'll zoom in so we can see what we're doing. So we just need to paint way that noise reduction sort of see what's happened there it just doesn't look right And it almost gets too difficult that, uh, within Lightroom anyway, that I, I just wouldn't bother. Um, Photoshop it gives you a lot more control with masks and selections, but with Lightroom it's pretty tricky, so I almost just wouldn't bother doing the finer adjustments, and often you can get away with that. Okay, so I've made those, I've masked out the areas that I don't want noise reduction on in Lightroom, and it's looking pretty good to be honest. So with this image, you know, Really, um, it'd be very hard pressed to tell the difference between the two. So I'll compare them and we'll see if you can tell the difference between them. Okay, so let's have a look. So on the left, this is Lightroom doing its own noise reduction and this is Topaz Denoise. So very similar. Uh, the bird looks slightly sharper. Denoise, Topaz must add some sort of sharpening when you're doing the denoise process because it does look a little bit sharper. So with this Pink Robin, Lightroom's done a really good job and uh, you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference, to be honest.
In summation, really, um, Lightroom does a, it does a good job and uh, with a little bit of extra time, you can get very similar results. Topaz is the, obviously a clear winner in relation to reducing the amount of time it takes to process your images. Uh, it's sort of one click and it does all the work for you. Um, so, you know, if that interests you and you want to save time, then I would highly recommend Topaz Denoise. So, as I mentioned, I have actually bought this software with my own money. However, I did reach out to them and they have allowed me to have an affiliate link, meaning the link in the description, if you click on that, and you do decide to purchase the software, then it supports the channel and I do get a little bit of a kickback. So, um, you know, if you are interested, I would really appreciate that. Be sure maybe just to Google uh, coupon codes prior to doing it, because there are often 15% off codes for this software. As of recording, they have a sale on, which is, uh, I think it's $20 off. So I think it's normally 79 US. I think at the moment it's 59 US and you can probably find a 15% code on the internet to get that down to close to 50 US dollars, which, you know, it's a lot of money, but uh, can save you a lot of time in the long run and just removes that um, noise from those images quickly and easily, almost with a single click. Okay, so as I mentioned, I was gonna show you how to do some finer touches in Photoshop. So I've got this image in Photoshop of a beautiful um, ring neck, an Aussie ring neck, this, or Mali ring neck, this bird here is actually shot at ISO 6400, so actually very high ISO on my 5D Mark IV. So we'll have a quick look. So you can see there's a little bit of noise, but because we've got a light background and uh, it's fairly well exposed, uh, there's not too much noise at all. Okay, I'm gonna to use Topaz Denoise um, in Photoshop and just show you how we can do, have a little bit more control. Um, so I'm just gonna create an extra layer, a duplicate layer. Uh, it's slightly different. I think you go to Filter, Topaz Labs, Denoise. Brings in up the same um, software or same window that we were looking at in Lightroom, but it's just uh, that we're now in Photoshop. So we'll open this up. I'm gonna do two layers. So I'm gonna do one for the background, noise for the background, and noise for the bird. And I'll show you how to do that. So this one, I'm just interested in the background only. So I wanna, create as much noise reduction on the background as I can. So I'll move sharpness down to zero and I'll whack this noise all the way to say 65 and it's done a good job. I can't see any noise there. So I'll hit apply. Okay, so it's applied the noise reduction to the background. We can see um, the before and after. So. That's the uh, before and that's after. So clearly all that noise has been removed. But as you can see, the bird's got too much noise uh, reduction applied to it. So it's got, it's got that painterly effect. We've lost detail and that's not what we want. So what I want to do now is I will select the original layer first and I'll create a uh, duplicate, Control J. And now I want to apply noise reduction, but just to the bird. So I invoke Topaz Denoise again and I'm just interested in the bird itself. So um, if we were to drag the slider, recover slider, say to 65, you'll see that it, there's hardly any noise reduction whatsoever, but it has still started to remove a bit of noise from the eye of the bird. Can we see that? Um, if so, if I was even to put the noise up a little bit, what happens? So we're getting some noise reduction from the eye. I might just drop this down a little bit. So we can see that we've got a little bit of noise reduction, but not a huge amount, probably just enough. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to click apply. So remember, I'm just trying to do it to the bird and not the background. I'm not concerned about the background, I'm just trying to reduce the noise in the bird itself. Okay, so we're currently looking at the layer that has had noise reduction on the bird, and if I turn that off, we'll see that's the before and after. So that's with the noise reduction on the bird, and that's before. So you mainly look at the eye, you can see the difference in the eye. So what I want to do now, is that there is the noise reduction to the background. As you can see, quite a, quite a bit has applied to the bird. 
So we want to mask this bird. So we hit the uh, quick selection tool, hit select subject, and we'll see what sort of selection it makes around the bird. Um, and you can go through and um, make adjustments to your selections. I will hit the mask tool down here and we've applied a mask. I need to invert this mask, control I. So now we have one layer. So this top layer here is the noise reduction on the background and we've created a mask to reveal the layer below which is the noise reduction on the bird. So currently this is how we want it. Um, we want the uh, noise reduction bird and the noise reduction background sort of blended together. So this is um, looking good. So if I was to turn off that top layer, you'll see we've got noisy background here. Okay, so I'll make a couple of adjustments and I'll show you the before and after. Okay, so I quickly just made a couple of adjustments, um, contrast adjustments and a little bit of sharpening to um, the image that's had the noise reduction applied to it. And I just want to quickly show you the before and after we've had noise reduction applied. So this was the original image out of Lightroom. Um, you can see there's a bit of noise uh, coming through. Uh, not a lot, but enough. And uh, we want to fix that. So we've done the denoise. Um, we've applied denoise to the background and to the bird on separate layers and then masked them. And this is what we came up with. So that is the layer that has had noise reduction. So no visible noise in the background and it appears to be a lot more detail in the bird. So quite a difference between the before and after. If we go out, that is the um, final image and that's before. So a bit of a difference between the two. So I'm happy with that. And you can definitely see in the dark areas of the bird, so say on the tail here, um, what a difference it makes. Quite a difference. And then the wing here. And on the perch. So overall, um, just goes to show what can be done from uh, those noisy images to the final images. Uh, processing we have available today allows us to improve our images and to use those higher ISO numbers. So, you know, if you have the software or you know how to reduce noise, don't be afraid of pushing it up um, to 1600, 3200, to 3200, depending on your camera. Um, I'm happy that I found the software. There is just one thing I've picked up from using the software. I'm not sure why it's happening. Perhaps somebody can tell me if they're having the same issue. Is I'm at the very edges of the image is, is some sort of weird banding that's going on. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. So if we zoom in, uh, we can see the banding at the top of the image. It happens at the top and at the bottom. I'm not sure what that is, and that is in the exporter file, so I'm having to do an additional little crop to get rid of this banding. It's very small, like you almost can't see it, but it's, it's definitely noticeably there, um, and I would have to crop it to get rid of it. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's causing that. Maybe somebody can let me know. So just as a quick conclusion, we looked at removing noise from our images. We compared Lightroom's built-in noise reduction, and we looked at Topaz Denoise. And the conclusion is Lightroom does a, an admirable job, um, does a really good job of removing the noise. It's, it doesn't cost you anything extra apart from subscription to Lightroom. And if you don't have a lot of noise and you don't mind spending a bit of time masking out the uh, parts you don't want noise reduction to, you can definitely get away with just using Lightroom. Um, but Topaz Denoise, it's a massive time saver. It's a one click. Um, at, do I think it's worth it? Yes, I do. But um, ultimately, you make that decision for yourself. I, I have purchased the software, like I said, with my own money, and I'll be happily using it as part, part of my workflow. Um, yes, darling. 
So in conclusion, it's a really good software. It's quick, it's easy, and allows you to obviously improve your images by reducing the noise. So I would definitely highly recommend it. Um, thanks again for watching. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of it, subscribe and please leave comments below. Maybe I missed something or you want to, you know, um, if you want me to do something in the future, let me know. But I appreciate all the subscribers and the comments. So until next time, uh, bye for now. Thanks. What are you doing? Are you coming on my video? Were you coming in on my video? Were you? No, isn't that nice? Got another example to put it through its paces. This is a uh, white faced heron. Um, the noise, it's a 7D Mark II at ISO 1600. You can see the amount of noise. So we've got a very, very dark background and uh, which has caused obviously a lot of noise to be present in the image. And there's a fair bit of noise on the bird as well. You can see it all through the bird. So this should be a good challenge. I'll quickly go through those steps and we'll see how, um, how it performs. So we've opened it up and just with those base um, settings, we can see it's done a pretty good job of uh, reducing that noise um, from both. I'll just increase this recovered details a little bit. So what I've noticed is that this uh, recovered details kind of trumps this noise layer. So you can see uh, the noise here. If I take this recover details down to zero, we've pretty much got no noise, uh, which is understandable. But if I take this to 100, we get a bit of noise. It doesn't matter what I do to this noise slider. If I remove noise to 100, it doesn't do anything because it's this recover details is too strong. So um, basically, you need to adjust this recover details to a point where you're happy with the background level of noise and how much you're getting in the bird. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll hit apply. Okay, so this is the image after the noise reduction has been applied. Still a little bit, but I've chosen to do it that way to maintain, to maintain the detail in the bird. So if we have a look at a before and after. So as you can see, um, Clearly a lot of noise in this image and very little in this image, but the bird still looks, you know, plenty sharp, but we've just got way less noise as you can see throughout that image. It really is quite incredible, the difference. So, you, you know, you've got, you've got an image that had heaps of noise, um, which doesn't look very pleasing to one that has very little um, so again, it's done an excellent job and it does it so quickly as well, one click. Okay, for one final test, uh, I've got a pretty bad Im noisy image that I actually didn't use. I didn't use just because the amount of noise in this image, I, I actually couldn't recover it to my liking using the systems I'd used. So I'll show you what it is. We've got this yellow-throated scrub wren. Um, so a pretty cool looking bird and it's got all this uh, food in its bill uh, on this rock. But as you can see, it was ISO 5000. Uh, it was with the good camera. Uh, what was it? I was a 5D Mark III. So my previous camera. So still a full frame camera, but the noise in the actual bird itself, um, there's a lot of noise in this image. So I really struggled to um, fix this, but I'll see how we, how Denoise handles it. So it's done a fairly good job, but it's probably um, probably a little bit too much noise reduction on the bird for me, um, just looking at it. Um, so what I want to do is add some detail. which is better. Um, so it's just a balancing act of going, just seeing that from the background, before you, back, you start to lose, get too much noise in your background. So that's where it's starting. So to get noise in the background. So that's, so this is how I do it. I adjust that recover detail slider 
to the right until I'm happy with how much noise is in the background. That's the easiest way to do it in Lightroom that I've found to get the most detail on the bird but still get good noise reduction on the background. I'm happy with that. That's done a good job. So hit apply. So it's done a pretty good job. You can see here, um, still got some good details in the bird and that is definitely uh, a usable image. You would get rid of this um, in post, but um, you know, it's done a, a good job from before and after if we have a look at before and after. So that's before and after. Um, I'm mo mostly interested in the bird. The bird looks um, you know, better in this left image. Uh, you can see how noisy this image is even at a, when we're zoomed out. Um, and but it's just incredible the um, you know the noise about keeping detail on the bird so it's really really good okay so now we need to apply the noise reduction in Lightroom so we come down to the noise reduction we can see a ton of noise so I'll move this slider to the right to say 50 still too much noise so I'll keep pushing it 75 that's looking better um, still a little bit, so we'll keep going, maybe 85. Okay, that's removed a fair bit of noise. We're starting to get some weird streaking going on in the background. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's this weird color streaking, so I might just have to back it off a bit. Um, yeah, so that's one of the downsides. We've got a bit of color streaking in there. As you can see, it looks weird on the bird. Um, so we need to apply that mask to get this detail back. So the adjustment brush tool, uh, we move the noise to minus 100 and we just simply remove that noise reduction. You can already see the issues we're running into, the overflow, so you see what I mean? If you see what I mean, we've got noise starting to come through, so I'll have to... Okay, this is, this is where we run into the major issues. If there's a ton of noise in the bird and you apply noise reduction to the background, it becomes obvious the difference between the bird and the background. So you've got all this noise and then you don't have noise and, it, and it's obvious that you've you know, remove the noise. So um, we need to stop that. So one way it would be to, so we hit the Alt key. On the right hand side, you've got this flow. So at 100% flow, and if I applied that, it removes, it takes it back to, well, 100% uh, noise reduction. You can see how we've lost it here. But I don't want to take it all the way back. I just want to remove so we're using the adjustment brush tool. I just want to partially um, bring back some of that noise reduction. So I hold down the Alt key to, to do minus. And if I change this flow down to quite a low number, say 10, and if I start painting, it will actually be just softly bringing back. I know it's a bit hard to tell, but uh, it'll be bringing back some of that um, Layer. So maybe even if we increase the flow to say 25 and we tried that. And now it's not quite as obvious to the eye. That, you know, we've done noise reduction. Okay, so I've done the adjustments in Lightroom and this is how it looks. Um, so, you know, we definitely have reduced some of that noise um, and uh, with the, bird, we haven't, the bird's still got detail because we haven't actually applied any noise reduction to the actual bird. Um, so we still have a fair bit of noise visible in the bird. I'll show you the difference between the Lightroom version and the Topaz Denoise version. Okay, so this is the difference between Lightroom and Topaz Denoise. Look, Lightroom hasn't done a bad job at all and, you know, with a bit of effort, it is somewhat passable. So on the left is Topaz, Denoise, and on the right is um, Lightroom. 
So they look fairly similar. Um, you know, the, the noise reduction on the left hand bird is probably a little bit better. Topaz has done that. And it's harder to tell the difference or the transition between um, the noise and no noise. So you can clearly see the noise um, in one and, um, you know, like in this feet here, you've got a lot of noise in the foot. So it just looks a lot better on here. Um, so overall, the, they're both fairly good.